So within Thorpe, although the primary mission of reprocessing comes to an end, we are embarking on a new mission, which is the post-operations clean-out phase. That is vital. Uh, if we get that wrong, it will leave a legacy uh, for future generations. We've got to make sure that we're able to dispose of all of the, uh, the wastes that, uh, that are in Thorpe before we remove the waste routes. Uh, that's both from a safety perspective, but also from a cost perspective. The first opportunity to do post-operation clean-out in mo the modern era is with Thorpe. So the, ex the, the experience gained with Thorpe has direct relevance to post-operation clean-out of the Magnox reprocessing plant. If it took 10 years to build and 25 years in operation, which is roughly right, uh, we anticipate we'll finish decommissioning in about um, 2075. So if you think about it like that, Thorpe might be 35 years into its mission, but it's got about 50 years left to go. Different work, different challenges, different skills required, um, more project-based rather than operations-based, but still incredibly challenging because nobody has decommissioned one of these. We're now going to have to reconsider what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, so we'll be going back to using pieces of plant that haven't been used since commissioning days. Uh, we'll be using lines, vessels, um, pumps, ejectors uh, that we don't use frequently or, as I say, we, we haven't used since uh, Thorpe was first commissioned. It'll be a challenge going forward because it won't be day-to-day -day operational activities. It will be um, a bit like commissioning in reverse. There was a lot of people who were quite nervous. Um, we were, obviously they were waiting for letters about where they were going to go. There was uncertainty around whether they were going to have shift jobs and things like that. And the management team in here have been very supportive and given people the opportunity, if there has been other places on site for them to, to move to and maintain sort of the shift patterns and things, they've tried to accommodate where possible. So um, although there was a lot of nervousness, I think there's that maintaining the communication has been really helpful. Um, not without its problems, but and there's always people that will be disappointed, but for the most part, I think a lot of people have been given the right opportunity for them. There has been quite a lot of unease among the, the workforce, because obviously change when you're not in control of it is quite unnerving and some people will have had quite a significant change in the terms and conditions coming up. Everyone has a role to go to, and by now everybody knows where they're going and has the opportunity to speak to their management about that and make sure that they're comfortable and they're confident and they'll get the training that they need. We're moving to hazard reduction and environmental cleanup. That's some, we can be equally proud of that mission. We are dealing with some legacy issues um, that have been with us for decades. So we need to shift our mindset from being a reprocessing centred organisation to actually an environmental restoration or remediation company. A chapter of the thought book is closing, but the book isn't closing. There is a future for all of our employees that are associated with Thorpe. There's a lot of opportunity on the site and I think it would be, be silly to feel pessimistic really because I think it's just, it's changing, but it's changing probably for the better. Thanks Thorpe. Sellafield is changing. <laughs>